Good afternoon, it's Gary from ironfine.ca coming to you from the Lower Mainland. Today I'm going to show you this 2008 Peterbilt 388 highway truck. It has 708,000 kilometers and 17,898 engine hours. This Cat C15 engine, 475 horsepower, 1850 torque. It does have a Jake brake and full diff locks. It's an 18 speed Eaton Fuller transmission, RTLO 18918B. Front axle rating is 12,000 pounds on the E122W, tape relief spring suspension. And the rear axle rating is 40,000 pounds on the D40-170DP, that is a Super 40s, on peat low leaf air suspension. The rear axle ratio is 3.58. Tires all the way around are 11R22 and a half on aluminum rims all the way around inside and out. It has twin fuel tanks, 135 gallons, and a 63-inch ultra sleeper. The CVI is valid till the end of December 2014. Both turbos were recently done February 2014, along with a new ARD head and exhaust manifold, along with a combustion wall for the DPF. All new batteries were recently done in May of this year, and new U-joints just last month September. The tires have approximately 100,000 kilometers on them currently, and the truck is used primarily to run for BC, Alberta, through to the Midwestern USA pulling dry bags. I'm going to do a general walk around of the unit, then I'm going to come up close for a tight inspection. You can see it has twin exhaust, it's a bright white color. You know the unit has been very well maintained. It's very clean and great running condition. We're going to listen to the engine shortly. Not seeing any sign of body damage from here. Come up close. Take a closer inspection. Let's come up to the grill here. Some nice big peat grills. And that's in good condition. We'll follow the bumper along here. driver's side of the unit. Passenger side. And the hood looks like it's in perfect condition. I'm not seeing a scratch in there. Nice and level. I see a little bit of a damage just here at the corner bead. And let's pan up the cab on the passenger side. The body looks in very good condition. There's a little bit of pitting in the mirror here, but it's not cracked, and there's no dents in the air cleaner. Take a look at the sleeper from the outside, also in good condition. And let's take a look at the rear of the unit. The rear of the sleeper in great shape. Hookups are in order and the access looks nice and level. Let me show you the drive line here from this angle. And 
let's come up between axles two and three. Take a look at the suspension. I'm not seeing any leaks anywhere. Just going to show you the axle here, Super 40, very good condition. Again, no leaks. And let's go between axles two and three here on the driver's side. See the tires are in great shape. You will be able to see those in the photos. And the access on this side, nice and level, nice and level as well. The stairs are in good shape. You can see we have air ride here, the cab. And let's pan the sleeper side here. There is some damage on the extended fairing here. It's minor. And let's take a look here at the cab. On the driver's side it's in a very good condition. And the mirrors no cracks or pits. Air cleaner's in good shape. Let's take a look at the hood. Excellent condition. Let's take a look inside the unit. I am taking my shoes off here. Reason for the pause, because the unit has been completely detailed inside. Let's come up here on the panel. Everything's nice and clean. No missing switches, no broken switches. I'm noticing a few small chips in the windshield, nothing that will fail on a CBI. I'm just showing you the upholstery here. Seats are in very good condition. And we'll show you the sleeper here. We should have enough light. And what we don't have enough light for, we will show you in the photos. And this truck is in very good condition. And it is spotless inside. I'm going to start up the unit and take a look under the engine, under the hood rather.
engine is sounding very good. Let's take a look at the other side. Thanks for watching. Have a great